Hello and welcome to RuneScape. So today I'm going to be doing the new quest, which is the Light Within. Now the requirements for this quest are pretty high. Uh, you will need to have completed Plague's End, the Fate of the Gods, Meeting History, The World Wakes, the Temple of Seniston, and then you will also need level 80 in Agility, Crafting, Divination, Herb Lore, Prayer, Slayer and Woodcutting. So it's pretty high requirements, although you do need pretty high requirements to get into Priftiness anyway. And it is an Elf City quest to do with Seren. The items you need are an enchanted key, which you will probably have if you've been doing one of the previous quests, and it may be on your key ring. You'll need a Traherne Exoskeleton set. You'll also need a Grand Defense Potion, uh, so you may need to go and buy the recipe for that. And you'll also need three Light Cores. Uh, which can be got from the divination creatures, monster creatures uh, in the Amlod sector. Then to start the quest just head over to the Ithil clan area and speak to Eliund um, to begin the quest. He will tell you that the elf city is shaking and that you need to rebuild Seren. Once she's told you this uh, you'll then need to go to the temple the top of the elf city the tower uh, and there will be a meeting with all the elf clan leaders so head to the top of there and you'll begin speaking to them all so the first thing you'll want to do is get your enchanted key and take it to Anwen and this will be used to find where Seren is so you need to get it like re-enchanted and then after that you'll then head to Guthix's shrine as that is the last place in time where Seren was. Once in Guthix's shrine you'll then want to use the key while standing next to Guthix. Um, if you uh, try to locate it you'll say that it's very hot. Uh, this will then teleport you back in time and Guthix will be alive and you'll be able to speak with Guthix again, so people who like lore, this is a big thing for you. So, speak to Guthix and he'll tell you, a, and well, you'll tell Guthix what you're trying to do and then he'll kind of help you. He'll tell you there's a spy, so just head up the steps slightly um, and you'll find an elf. Speak to the elf and you'll find a couple of things about the elf. Then head back to Guthix and he'll tell you how to get Seren back together. After this head back to the clan leaders and they'll each tell you about where their part of the Seren crystal is held and this will be the next sort of part. These tasks can be done in any order but the first one I did was the Heffen and Amlod uh, clan task uh, which needed three light cores I already have three light cores in my bank, but if you don't have them, uh, you can get them from the shadow creatures um, in the Amlod area, and then cleansing them to turn them into light cores. Then you want to travel up to the cathedral, and you can use the light cores on the big shard, and then you'll have a sort of memory puzzle game thing, where you have one of the, the clan leader will call out some poses that you have to do uh, just copy what they do and then one, you'll do this sort of three times so you do three poses and then there'll be a chant which will tell you what the chant is and then you have to say it in the order so you've got to memorize what the order was and there'll be three things in the chant then you do it again this time there'll be four poses and four words in the enchantment and then finally you do it with five poses and five uh, words in the enchantment. So it gets kinda five is kinda hard to remember, but you should be able to do it. And then once you've done that, you'll get the Heffin and Amlod crystal. Next up is the Traherne and Ithil Shard. This needs the Traherne exoskeleton set. Head to Letia um, and investigate the well. Once down the well you'll find a creature who will ask you a bunch of questions. So the first question you will answer what is the armor made of and it is runite. 
The second one is the family name, which is Sinog. The third question is how many cores are being looked after, and the answer is five. And the last one is about the future of children, and the answer is the future is doomed. Once you go through the door, you can then take the crystal shard. So the next one I did was the Miller and Cray's uh, crystal, and you need a grand defense potion, which is made by a normal defense potion, added to a super defense potion, and you need to have bought the recipe. Uh, then you also need two types of mushrooms. You need a blood cap mushroom. This can be found uh, next to the mushroom patch in Turien. Uh, so if you go to the lodestone and go to the left of the uh, mushroom patch, and then go just left of that, and you'll find a blood cap mushroom. And then the other part of the mushroom, you need to go to the craze. Um, zone in Priftiness and speak to the tree ent guy. When you speak to him he seems to know about the blue mushroom that you need uh, but he'll tell you a story and you need to try and stay awake from the story so you have a little sort of mini game type of thing where to keep awake there will be random clan signs appearing across the screen if you click on them it will wake you up slightly. It's very easy just click them and eventually uh, you'll maybe end up clicking away and clicking off and you'll find that you have the blue mushroom Then you can go and add these to your grand defense potion and you'll get a new type of potion And finally you need to use this potion on an, on the active crystal tree So you need to go and find this throughout the world My particular one happened to be in Sears village You'll then use it on the tree, on the roots of the tree and you'll get a message saying that the cave entrance has opened up. Uh, I didn't notice the cave entrance actually appearing, it appeared on the opposite side and with all these people around I didn't quite see it. But if you go, now that you've revealed the cave entrance, if you go to any place where there is a crystal tree, even in the one in Prifness, if you've not even unlocked where the, like, the level to grow a tree there, there will still be a cave entrance to get there. Once there, just head down the little cave and there will be a crystal which you can then take. So, easy. Finally, for the fourth and final um, shard, uh, you need to go to the, where the hill giants are with the Glarial's amulet. Uh, take that with your rope and enter the cave. Go to the right hand side when you go in, if you're facing out the door, uh, and search some of the boxes and you'll find a key. Then you can go to the other side, and you will go through the two doors, uh, like the opposite side, so the far left side, and uh, Anwin will appear to you, uh, it will sort of go into a weird instance bit. Uh, speak to Anwin, and then you will then use, well, then there will be a, an option to investigate uh, the King Backstorian, or whatever his name is. Uh, investigate him, and then you'll get into a cutscene where you bring him back to life and he will turn his wife into the final shard. After you've gathered all these four shards, you'll go back to the council of the clan leaders and they'll tell you that you may need to grab the final piece, which is the dark shard of Saren. You'll, to get here, you need to speak to Morvran, uh, who is the Prifteness Slayer task person. Go to him, and he'll take you to the Grand Library. In the very corner, or the south, far south side of the light puzzle room from the previous quest, you'll find the shard. Once you've done this, just go back to the el uh, back to the elves up at the castle, the leaders. The leaders then tell you that you need some essence uh, or shards to make up the rest of Saren. To get this you need to go back to the elf homeland uh, which you can access through the world gate. Make the world gate look like the number one and then you can enter it uh, and you'll end up on the elf plane. Once here you need to go and get yourself 50 enchanted fragments to make Saren whole again. Uh, you can get these in a number of ways. You can get them from cutting the crystal trees, from mining the crystal rocks, 
or from killing the uh, creatures which change their attack style. Unless you're ready to fight these level 112 creatures, I would not recommend this, and it's probably easiest to mine or woodcut. Um, however, if you kill the creatures, you may get it quicker, as the creatures will drop two uh, enchanted shards at a time, and the trees and the rocks drop a different type of shard, which you need to take to someone to turn it into one of these enchanted shards and you need three of these enchanted shards to make one well three unenchanted to make one enchanted one these creatures are pretty difficult they are also use abilities uh, they will turn to the combat style which you are not using so you'd need to uh, use multiple attack styles uh, but you can eventually run away although they will teleport after you if you try running away they're fairly out of the way so you can sort of avoid them as well. Once you've gathered, if you're doing the unenchanted thing, once you've gathered 150 of them, uh, take them to the shop guy um, who is at the far side of the island. It's not an island, far side of the world. Uh, he has a house and he's sitting by a fire. Take them to him and he will exchange them for enchanted things. Once you have 50 of these, you can take them back to Elliand. Uh, who's by the world gate portal later on uh, this guy will also be able to trade with you so you can either mine or you can kill things and you'll be able to get these shards which you can then use in a shop to buy a crystalline armor which you can also um, make it enchanted later on um, but at the moment I think there's not really much information about this. I think it's just level 80 armor which will degrade to dust. Once you go back to Elian's, she'll teleport you back to the clan leaders if you wish, and then you'll sing a song, and Saren will come back to life. Well, sort of life, she'll be unconscious. It's then revealed that to make Saren whole again, you also need to reconstruct her soul. This means taking her to Frenske. Now you can just teleport there and there'll be well there'll be a cutscene where you carry Saren through Frenske and there'll be a load of cutscenes and stuff. This bit is maybe quite spoiler heavy, so if you don't want to hear the story, I would suggest skipping ahead. because uh, this bit you Meet Zaros, and Zaros will tell you a bunch of stuff to recreate Saren's soul. Um, and there's a reason that Saren is Zaros's sister, and they're sort of anti each other, so they're the opposites of each other. Anyway, uh, after this. You've done this, uh, you take Saren to the Elder Halls, Zaros isn't allowed to do this, and you then have to do a light puzzle, of course, as any elf uh, quest has. Uh, this one is slightly more complicated and works quite differently, um, and you go through a number of steps and recreate Saren's soul. This puzzle is split into four different stages, which you have to complete. And the puzzle is three rings of uh, sort of mirrors. Uh, there's an outer ring, a middle ring, and an inner ring. So for the first uh, section, it will sort of reset. You can reset at any time if you wish. So the first section is rotate the outer ring two times clockwise, rotate the middle ring two times anti-clockwise, and then rotate the inner ring once anti-clockwise. Uh, each rotation of one ring affects the rotations of all the other rings so that's why it's kind of complicated. For the next one you want to rotate the outer ring two times clockwise, rotate the inner ring once clockwise and then rotate the inside ring two times anti-clockwise. Uh, the mirrors will be in different places to where they were in each time and there'll be a couple of different coloured ones as well. 
doesn't affect the rings too much as they will still rotate with it. For the third phase, leave the outside ring alone, move the middle ring two times anti-clockwise, and move the inner ring three times anti-clockwise. For the fourth and final uh, part of the puzzle, move the outside ring two times anti-clockwise, move the middle ring two times clockwise, and then move the inner ring two times anti-clockwise, and then that will complete the thing. You'll then have a fairly lengthy cutscene with Saren where she'll explain stuff between you and Zaros. I'm going to go and skip that, um, as it's another spoiler, and you can go and see the quest yourself. Finally, head back to the Elf City and go up to speak to the clan leaders, and Saren will be there and say a bunch of things, and then that will be the quest completed. Okay, and quest complete. So we have two quest points, 90k XP in all the skills that we require to do this quest, which was level 80. Um, access to Seren spells and prayers, uh, and access to post content on Tardiad, which I think is going to be quite cool. Um, I'll maybe have a look at that um, in another video. I'll maybe have a look at the drops of the shapeshifters and also of the shop with the crystal armor. But anyway, that is it for uh, this quest. So thank you for watching. And I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.